In this video I'll give a demonstration on how to use the filtered back projection or FBP algorithm in the Astro toolbox. We'll do this by creating a phantom image, projecting that phantom image into a sinogram and then reconstructing that sinogram with the FBP method. We'll do this first with the CPU version of the algorithm and secondly we'll also do this with the GPU accelerated implementation that is provided by the Astro toolbox. So we will start by creating a phantom image with the MATLAB function phantom and let's say we want to create a 512 by 512 image. Next we create the geometries, so first we create the volume geometry with the function astra, create volgeom and then we specify the number of pixels which in our case is 512 by 512. Then we create the projection geometry with the function astra, create Geom, and we want to use a parallel beam projection geometry where the detector width is 1, where there are 512 detector pixels per projection and we want to space the projection angles between 0 and pi and let's say we want to have 180 projections in total. The next step is to create a projector, so we type astra create projector. We then have to specify what type of projector we want, so let's say we want to use a line kernel and then we also have to add the projection geometry and the volume geometry objects that we've just created. And then the result of this function is a projector identifier which we can then subsequently use to refer to this projector. So the next step is to create the sinogram or to simulate the sinogram this is done with the astra create sino function where we specify which image that we want to project. In our case, it's this image here. And we want to add also the identifier to the projector. And then what this returns is an identifier to the object that holds the sinogram. And then if you want, you can also return the sinogram as well. The next step is to create a reconstruction volume. So we create this by typing astra max data 2D. We say create a volume object with this volume geometry and we want to initialize it to zero. Fine. So the next step is then to configure the algorithm, which we do by creating an astra structure and specifying that we want to have a filtered back projection. Then we have to add some options. First and foremost we have the projector ID where we specify the identifier of the projector. Then we also need to add the um, projection data ID which is this sinogram identifier that we created earlier and then also the reconstruction data ID, which we've created just now. That should be all, so then we can type astra mix algorithm, create an algorithm based on this configuration structure. And this then returns an identifier to an algorithm object. Next, we can finally run the algorithm by typing astra mix algorithm, run algorithm identifier. Then after that is done we can then finally get the reconstruction data back into the MATLAB environment. That is done using astra underscore mix underscore data 2d get the identifier of the reconstruction volume and we want to put this then into a MATLAB matrix. And then last but not least, don't forget to delete all the objects that are now in the memory. And this can be done with the function astra underscore clear. This will remove everything from the memory. So we can now run this script and then we can visualize all the things that we've done. So let's first visualize the original phantom image, which is this 512 by 512 ship Logan image. Next, I'll show you the sinogram, which is a 
um, 512 by 180 image that you see here. And then finally, we can show you the reconstructed image, which is this image right here. All right, so this is an implementation that is based on the CPU, which is of course very nice, but this can be a lot faster, namely with the GPU accelerated version. Now to use this GPU accelerated version, we just have to add underscore CUDA to the name of the algorithm. And also we can delete the projector here because we have no need for that in the CUDA version. We then do have to change this function where we create the signogram and then we say Astro create signogram GPU and instead of the projector we just specify the projection geometry and the volume geometry. We can then run this function again and again show you the reconstructed image.